Hi, it's Pat. Join me as we dive into the new features for EA6. Introducing the eight new players that will be added to the lineup for EA6. Making a powerful climb through the WTA rankings in the last two years, representing Croatia, Donna Bekish. Representing Australia and recent Miami Open men's doubles winner, Matthew Epton. Making a return to the tour this season, known for her baseline aggression and powerful ground strokes. Representing Spain, Paula Badosa. Entering his 10th year on tour and making his first Masters 1000 final appearance in Rome this year. Representing Chile, Nicholas Jerry. Having improved her career and ranking year on year since her professional debut in 2018, reaching a career high of number seven this season, representing China, King Wen Zhen. Securing his second and third career titles in Dallas and Queen this year, current world number 12, representing the United States, Tommy Paul. Representing the United States with eight career WTA titles, Sloane Stevens. One of the biggest hitters on tour, with a powerful forehand and dominant backhand, making four final appearances on the 2024 Masters calendar and claiming their first grass court title. The Miami and Hull Open champion, the new world number one, Italy's Yannick Sinner. We're pleased to announce in addition to ATP Men's Finals, Early Access 6 will introduce WTA Finals Mode. Here, you can go head-to-head -head with some of the best players on tour and take home the trophy. EA6 will feature a few new mechanics which gives users more tools to strategize their gameplay, both defensively and offensively. First on the list, we have added modifiers to ground strokes. Hold RB and press the face button to execute a modified shot. Loop ball. This is a heavy topspin defensive shot that generates high amount of kick as it makes contact with the ground. The loop ball is used to disrupt your opponent's rhythm. For example, if you catch the ball at its peak, it will result in a quick reflex shot. In addition, it can be used to push an opponent back. To counter a loop ball shot, an opponent might return the ball at strike zone as the ball rises. They could return the shot with a dip drive stroke. A dip drive stroke is a modified shot for a flat ground stroke. When used, it will send a faster ball at a sharper angle. To execute a perfect dip drive stroke, the ball must be hit when it rises. A heavy slice shot is a modified slice that has the ability to curve the ball. The curve of the ball can be used to disrupt your opponent's game sense and position. Volleys. We have honed our physics systems and now have different styles of volleys and lunges. Pressing B will perform a topspin volley and pressing A will perform a flat volley, which can be used to help drive the volleys deeper and faster into the court. Pressing Y will perform a lob volley. Perform slice drop volleys by pressing X. This will place shots closer than there. Executing a slice lunge can be used to reduce airtime for the ball as it enters the court. It is used as a defensive to offensive shot. Perform a lob lunge to buy the player some time and allows themselves to recover on the court. Executing a topspin and a flat lunge can be the safest option to simply place the ball back into the court. Thank you for playing tiebreak. We hope you enjoyed the new features in this update.